those of us that aren't good with handwritten graphs, right? So and so if, if you can figure this out in Excel for us non-artistic people that can't barely draw a straight line, this is a good, uh, good tool uh, to pick up. So we're going to say this is going to be equal to norm.dist tab. The X is now going to be this 80. The mean, comma, same thing we did before is that mean 74.92, comma. The standard deviation is now going to be this 10.09. And then comma, now it needs to be cumulative, which is going to take the area under the graph, right under the line, up to 80. And so now we want it to be one or true. True, you can type in true. One is easier to type. So I'll put a one. And then I'm going to percentify that home tab number groom percentify. Add some decimals. Comes out to the 69.26. Uh, and uh, you'll recall that that's different than if I went down to this 80 down here. And I'm saying there's the 80. There's the likelihood that I get uh, 80. Here's 80. 80 exactly. And then if I was to add all this up, this would be 70.99, which is close to the 69.26, but not exact due to the, the nature that we have a, a, a curve uh, kind of situation here. So remember, this 80 represents the score, which would be in percents, you know, you would think of an 80% that we get an 80 on it, which we're representing as a whole number. This 69.26 uh, is the likelihood that we get an 80. Now you might be thinking, shouldn't the likelihood that I get an 80% be like 80% because that's kind of the point, but, but no, you know, we're, do, we're doing it based on the actual, <laughs> you know, the actual results, which are actually hovering around 7492 uh, at the mean with a standard deviation of 10, around 10, right? So that, so once you have that, you, you can also get into the, the Z. Now the Z is a representation of uh, the number that's in relation to the midpoint, the, sta the, the, the mean, right? So we're trying to represent the number in terms of standard deviations. So in other words, if I have an 80 here, the question is how can I represent that as a z-score? So I could do that by saying this is gonna be equal to brackets because I gotta subtract and then I'm gonna do a division. So it's gonna be the 80 minus the midpoint. So notice we're talking about difference from that middle point closing up the brackets divided by the standard deviation, right? So we're taking the score that we're looking for minus the middle point divided by the spread number, the standard deviation. So I'm going to say enter and we get a Z if I go home tab number of uh, 0.5. So, so now we're representing this in Z scores. And now if I do the same, I could do a similar calculation that we had before, but instead of having X, now we've got uh, the Z. So we can use a formula such as this. This equals norm dot, uh, norm dot S dot dist. So it's a slight difference here, right? And now I need the Z instead of the X because now I have the Z and not the X. And then I just need to say whether it be cumulative. Notice I don't need the mean and the standard deviation. Why? Because they're already in the z-score because we calculated the z-score with the x and the mean and the standard deviation so all we need to do is say is it cumulative or not and i'm going to say it is cumulative with a one and we should get to the same number home tab number group percent adding some decimals of that 69.26 now how can we graph this on the graph if i look at the graph i'd like to say okay i'd like to see something populate this area over here and so it shows me pictorially at that 80 you know at the 80 uh, uh, uh so it shows up over here so i could say okay to do that i can also add the z let's first add the z in our list of data i'm going to say this is my z column home tab font group numbered or bucket black white center and then I'm going to calculate the Z for everything here. So I'm going to say, okay, the Z you'll recall equals brackets. I'm not going to do a spill array function. I'm just going to do the good old normal format. This X minus the mean F4. So it's an app.